Don't take any excuses. We're going into Peter today. No, I'm not going to delay the launch. No, Shauna, this afternoon. I'll call you back. This place, it's really important. We can't let her back there. Read this place, it's important. Sorry, I can hear you. Up here. Read it, it's important. 36 Calton Street has too many terrible memories. We can't let this woman open that house up. I don't understand. Read this place, it's important. What's this? Slow motion, dear. Well, next time I'll jump to it. Yes, see, there you do. Actually, I've got a little job for you. Could you please make a list of all the patients who tried to contact us while the systems were down? That meant to be a punishment. Mm -hmm. oh, right, well, I'll just get Rob to have you swilling out the drunk tank next time you're on shift at the station. What? Just a joke, Howard. What's this? Well, yes, actually, I've uh, signed up to be a special constable. Did you know about that? Oh, yes. Helping out the local community. Very admirable. Well, well, well. I hope your truncheon's big enough to cope. Now, that's just childish. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, how many have you got left? Um, only a couple now. We've done well. Can we get breakfast now? No, I've got another batch waiting to be picked up. Oh, love, I really appreciate you helping me get the word out. You never forget how important this is. I don't know what I'd do without you. It's all right, Mum. You're a good boy. If that cow thinks she can waltz into Leatherbridge and upset everybody, she's got another thing coming. That house is not going to be used again, ever! Are you sulking? I can take a joke. No, seriously, specials are invaluable and oh, they're so dedicated, you'll fit right in. Hmm. How's it going? Well, the first shift wasn't quite what I expected. Oh, don't worry. You'll pick it up. What's wrong? You remember Gary Lucas? <laughs> oh, yeah. Stab anyone in the back to get on. Friends in high places to keep him there. I thought all that was ancient history. Yeah, well, it doesn't look like it. Can we chat later? Yeah. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. Oh, are you all right? Uh, I was up all night working on the app. So we're trying to fix the server. Oh, I hate it when I can't solve a puzzle. It puts me in a bad mood all day. Oh, it's out of your way, then, Ed. <sighs> you got one as well. <laughs> Thought she was going to chase me down the street until I took one. It's quite a campaign. A little short of mob rule, if you ask me. Why, well, you can hardly blame them. What? Chasing some poor woman out of town on the end of a pitchfork? You didn't grow up around here. You wouldn't know that two girls were murdered in that house and buried in the cellar. Ooh. House of horrors, indeed. What was his name? Um, Rowley Park House. He uh, committed suicide, hung himself in his cell before the... Case came to trial. And everybody's getting het up because someone else is moving in. 
It's been 20 years. When do you move on, Leatherbridge? Yeah, but some wounds hard to heal, and it was a terrible case. And, th and this woman, she's probably just walked into it, not knowing what was going on. No health centre. Half day today. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to get my hair done, get my legs waxed, and I'm off to see an old friend. Oh. What, do you want to come and get your legs waxed? <laughs> OK, please don't shout at me. <laughs> but um, I've kind of volunteered you to help out with some of my kids. Supermarket bag packing to raise money for the youth club. Oh, Chris! Oh, please, please, it's for the youth club. No. Oh, come on. Not a chance. Well, you can't pull out now. Uh, I didn't pull in. Do you not think I've already done enough for the youth club, eh? You know, putting up with Emma, dressing up as Diana Ross, putting up with Emma. <sighs> Well, those are kids we're relying on, yeah. Oh. Oh, that is a low blow. And I was relying on you. Oh, why can't you do it? Well, I, I am, but I'm doing one at another supermarket. Please, look, I, I promise I will make it up to you. You're going to regret saying that. Does, does that mean you'll do it? Two hours, max. Yes. You seen this? Planning application. Yes, for a polyclinic. All the bells and whistles right on our doorstep. It's going to be huge. All the parking you ever need, disabled access, masses of space for treatment rooms, and the ability to deal with any speciality you can think of. Ah. How are we going to cope with that? Well, it's early days. Don't worry, they haven't got planning permission. It'll take at least three years before they can build anything. Yes, well, I can't be that blasé, because I know the man behind this project. Does that make a difference? Yes. He's a real mover. Gets things done. Even if he does break a few rules and necks along the way. Well, I appreciate your concern, but don't underestimate our reputation. It'll take quite a lot to put a dent in our patient base. Yes, well, patients can be fickle. All I'm saying is we need to be prepared. Absolutely. Believe me, we'll have a fight on our hands. Oh, dear. So we just need to do the medicine review and you've completed your new patient registration. Right, so it says here you've been taking paraxetine for... Great. Um, some of your notes are missing. Everything from beyond seven years ago. Uh, some kind of mix-up at my last practice. Uh, so, um, how are you getting along with the antidepressants? Fine. I mean, sometimes I have trouble concentrating. That's not good in my line of work. Yeah? What is it you do? I run a start-up, a tech company. No way! What are you working on? A retina reader. You can lock your phones or tablets to protect sensitive data. We're going into beta phase today. Ooh. Must be a lot of pressure. But getting the startup off the ground, launching today, it's been good for me. I feel stronger than I felt in years. Is that you? They've been handing those things out all over. Bunch of nutters whipping up a hate campaign. <sighs> Have you spoken to the police? No. No police. <laughs> Well, things can get out of hand when emotions are running so high. They're not going to drive me out. Look, the company's starting off. Four employees now. In six months, there'll be 40. I'm in Leatherbridge to stay. I have as much right to be here as anyone else. Absolutely. But you need to keep yourself safe. I can look after myself. Calm down. Don't hurt him. Get off me. Excuse me, I'm just going to see what that is. Excuse me, here, Chris. Get out. Oi, please. Read those. She's here. Get out. Leave them alone. These people have a right to know what's happening. Not here, the don't. Oh, there she is. I knew I'd seen her coming in. Oi. She can change her name, but she can't change who she is. Roly Parkhouse's daughter. The murderer's daughter. She's back to open up old wounds. She doesn't care about anything but herself. Keep driving, you witch! 
Are you on her side? What? I'm not on anybody's side, but that... That was just ugly. Mom. Yeah, frightening that poor woman. You should be ashamed of yourself. She deserves all she gets. It was 20 years ago! I think it's time to move on. How can anybody forget what happened in that house? Mom, leave it now. Why should it be forgotten? The families of those two poor girls still live in Leatherbridge. Every time they pass that place, it tears their hearts open. But driving Samantha away is not going to change the past. You don't get it. Because, thank God, you've never had to live through something like that. That cow has turned up as if, as if nothing ever happened. I saw her standing outside when the men took the boards off the windows. No emotions, not a glimmer of guilt. She's rubbing our noses in it, stirring up all that pain. Is that right? Is that fair? Where's the justice? Tell me that. I'm not going to give up on those girls. I'll do whatever it takes to drive that murdering scum's daughter out of there. Violence is never an answer. The two girls were... were school friends. It's always been bad. Her moods. Ever since that woman moved back into that house, it's... it's like everything's come rushing up to the surface and it's worse than it's ever been. I don't know what she'll do. What? I know we have a meeting. I'm tied up. Well, deal with it. What do I pay you for? Yet. Don't you eat vegetables, Lily? What's wrong with you? So lots. Now, shh. That's disgusting. Look, I said. Fine. Thank you. There you go. Fine. You need to sort yourself out, you. I miss it. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Gaffer, I am proper hungry. There's that new uh, gourmet burger place on the high street. Do you want to watch what you're shoveling down your face? Great. Now you've hurt my feelings. Now I've got to get to the town hall planning department and make some inquiries. Oh, again? Is there a problem? Uh, yeah. I couldn't go to the police. Mum would only get in trouble. Why? What's happened? Mum wanted me to break into that house, rough that woman up, frighten her off. What? But I'm not going to do anything like that. I, I couldn't. Mum talk about burning the house down. But please, don't tell the police. If someone's life's in danger, I've got no choice. No, no. Mum needs help. Not getting arrested. It'll only make everything worse. You have to help. I can't. Please. Look, I can try and talk to her. She won't listen to you. Tried that, didn't do any good. She's out of control. But you have to get that Samantha to leave. Or at least warn her, cos there's no telling what one will do next. <laughs> Sorry. What? I saw you. Don't play dumb. Put it back. You know what you're talking about? I'll be back in a minute. Uh, sorry, uh, 
Don't let them know I'm here. Who are they? Don't. It's my brother. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry to intrude. Come to ban me from the practice? Hey? No, of course not. Just, we didn't finish that new patient assessment dealy thing, and my boss is a hell of a stickler for paperwork. Seriously? No, it's just a ruse. I mean, can I come in? Okay. I just wanted to see how you were after this morning. I was naive. I thought changing my name would be enough to get a fresh start. Some people, they will go to any lengths to make sure you don't live here again. I should be free to live in my own home. Oh, come on. You must have known when people found out who you were that it would just reignite those emotions. Don't you dare judge me. I'm not. I'm not my father. I know you're not. I shouldn't have to carry his crimes on my shoulders for the rest of my life. You are absolutely right. But we don't live in a just world. You have to think what the people out there see. And they see this house, and they see you, and it just brings back this awful moment of Leatherbridge history. Is this place really worth all that hassle? Do you want some tea? Yeah, thanks. Where is everybody? We're supposed to be having a protest. Nobody cares, Mum. Not as much as you. But they should do. We have to make our voices heard. Mum. But if we don't, we're powerless. Mum! How do we stop this? It's gone too far. This isn't about me. Yes, it is. It always has been. That's why Dad left. And that's why you can't hold down a job. This, this is all you think about. That's not true. People talk about you. About me. Who cares what people say? I care. All my life. The house. I, I, I want out of it. You were walking out on me. I'm done. So are you going to tell me what that was all about, then? No. That was a local gang, right? And you're scared of them? Everyone's scared of them. You think you know what it's like living around here? People get hurt, people disappear. You gotta watch your back all the time. How did your brother get involved with him? When they come for you, you don't have a choice. My bro, two weeks ago, he almost got himself killed, following orders. Just don't want to be part of all that, all right? On the street, the park, nowhere safe. I can't even hide at home now, my bros with them. Except the youth club. That's good. Ah. They can't get you there. <laughs> Lewis! You're such a pain in the bum. Planning to do with this place? There are probably some people who will pay a little bit extra for it. What are you doing? I am going to burn this place to the ground. Now stop! Wait. I've been waiting twenty years. You've wrecked enough lives, and it's going to stop now. And burning the house to the ground is going to help. Think about your son. How is he going to feel about his mother, the arsonist? Like I feel about my father. Don't you dare compare me to him. I want you to know what those girls went through so you understand. We're going down to where it all happened.
this is where he brought me. Imagine how those girls felt coming down these stairs, listening to their footsteps, listening to his breathing. Kate, the cellars aren't really my favourite places to be at the moment. This is the first time I've been down here since... He made them stand against that wall while he got everything ready. Then he'd go back upstairs, lock the door, leaving them down here in the dark, waiting, knowing what was to come. I was supposed to be the third victim. I was lucky. Parkhouse forgot to lock the door, and when I got out, I ran for my life. Are you OK? Of course she's not. She knew exactly what was going on. I saw you watching when your father brought me down here. Samantha, why did you come back here? Not just the house. There was something else. You let him do it. You knew what he was doing. Yes, I knew. I was strong. Always kind and gentle. I never saw a monster. After he was arrested, uh, I tried to kill myself. I was sectioned for a while. A small thing. What is it? It let me believe I wasn't a bad person. Not really. Tell her. I unlocked the door. I left it open. You... You, you saved my life. So. Hang on, Lewis, Salim. I'll keep you company. years I've been waiting to get away from this house and now now what do I do what do you want to do I don't know it's all such a mess I'd say go and see your son they've gone who's gone it'll look completely different with some fresh paint new curtains the works are you sure you want to live here? It'd be all right now. in protest, determined to save their local hospital. Woo! 
Ooh, how about a nice juicy steak? Steak? Have we won the lottery? And it's three for a fiver, actually. Oh, don't touch it, love. Seriously. So you all find it funny that your workplace is a health hazard? I thought it was just a rumour that managers ate human hearts. Being nursed by Carol, David's got it wrapped around.